Hey there guys, my name is Devin Martin, I'm an application engineer with Trimec Solutions and today I just wanted to go over a, a quick new feature in SolidWorks 2015 and uh, it's using the linear pattern so let's, uh, let's take a look at that and go ahead and open up a file here using my recent documents. So I'm going to open this up and I've got one hole down at the bottom left there of my part. It's a little rail. I need to put a, a couple holes in it. And uh, ideally I'd like for those to update with the length of my pole in case I were to go in and change configurations, uh, make a change to, to it in the drawing, really anything. I, I want that to kind of smart update. So in 2014 using the linear pattern you could uh, set up a, a pretty complex equation and have that work. Um, just a really quick review of linear pattern. You're going to choose your feature, um, then you can choose the direction that you want that to pattern in, and apply spacing. And I could say that instead of five, let's just zoom out a bit here and fill it all the way up. Overshoot there just a little bit. Okay, so now I have a nice little pattern. However, uh, if I were to go to change any dimensions on this, uh, my nicely patterned rod there will uh, unfortunately require a little more patterning. So let's go ahead and jump back into our linear pattern. I'm just going to undo everything I did and we'll restart again. So start a new linear pattern here and instead of using spacing and instances, I'm going to use up to reference. So this is new in 2015. It lets me choose a reference point to pattern my features up to. So I'll say let's pattern all the way up to this uh, edge there. I can choose a offset distance from that reference point. So maybe I want all of those holes to be offset by, I don't know, two millimeters. So I'll go ahead and put two millimeters in there. And I can say I want that to be the centroid of the part. I could also specify a reference. Um, and then I can either set the spacing or set the number of instances. And I'll come back and revisit that in, in a minute or two. Let me go ahead and choose the features and the number of face features or faces there. And uh, then I need to add one more parameter, and that would be my direction. So let me zoom in here and go ahead and grab that direction. Okay. So once I add my direction, you can see it automatically populates the number that I need and uh, it keeps the spacing to the distance that I set it. Uh, if I were to go and change this size again now and drag it out, you can see it dynamically updates the number of holes uh, that are in that pattern. I can drag it all the way down. Um, it just updates really nicely. This is great to use with configurations. So you can just go in there and set up your configurations, change the, the size of your part, and not have to worry about your linear pattern. So let's visit the other option. So we had two options here. We had the distance or the spacing, and then we also have the number of instances. If I were to set those numbers, so instead of uh, that, now let's go ahead and just say I want 20. And I, I want 20 instances no matter what. Uh, it's going to put those in there and now when I go and change the size, so let's just click and drag this out, instead of adding more instances, it just changes the spacing between the ones that I have in there. This is a nice improvement in SolidWorks 2015 and of uh, just letting you automatically update those linear patterns to a specified reference instead of having to create an equation or uh, modify that linear pattern every time you make a change to the part. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed the video and uh, you guys have a great day.